Hey everyone, this is Tracy. Thanks so much for tuning in to my channel. I wanted to come to you guys with a video of some kind. I had been sick over the past couple of days and it was kind of hard for me to really pull out the camera and just start filming anything. I wasn't really up to that type of video, but I did have some pictures here of um, what I did with my hair. And I took some pictures and I just wanted to show you some pictures and share with you, you know, what the pictures are about. Okay, well, with this picture that you're looking at right here was where I had, as you know, I still am on my mini braid challenge. And um, with this picture, I had, uh, I think, braided up my hair to stretch out my mini braids or something. And I was playing around with my headscarf there. And um, whatever happened with that was, I think the video was an epic fail or something. But if you check out my last video, I believe that's what it is, you will be able to see exactly what I am talking about with this here picture. Okay, but anyways, I was just having some fun with head wrapping and I just wanted to share this picture. And if this is something that you guys are interested in seeing from me is different types of head wraps that you can do with head scarves. You know, when you just not having that perfect hair day or you just want to put your hair away and not fool with it for that day or maybe even for a week or so then head wrapping is the best thing to do. So if you guys want to see more of these type of videos from me, let me know in the comment section and I can try to get them to you. But moving right along, what I had did here, guys, I had, I was starting to really feel very, very sick on this part. But for some reason, what was more comforting to me was rebraiding over my mini braids. Uh, my mini braids had been in for at least about a good three weeks before I decided to rebraid them over here in this picture. So here I was starting to really start to feel that sickness kick in. So I had did a few mini braids just to see exactly what they look like. And, and this is what this picture was all about. Um, so here I wanted to also ask when the like how my ends are looking here in this picture. Someone said something about that's the time that you should clip them because they're not supposed to look like that. Is that true? Has anybody else heard this before? Because it do not sound right to me. I mean, if you constantly keep cutting your hair, how do you expect for it to grow or you're going to be able to see the growth? I clipped my ends before I braided my hair into these mini braids. So I would kind of like would refuse to keep clipping my hair. I mean, these are my curls. I mean, has anybody else heard that? If so, what do you think about it? Please leave that in the comment section as well. Moving right along. So here in this day, I was starting to feel a lot better as well as I had then completed um, braiding my hair. As you can see, I still have those same little ends and I haven't did I haven't did or put anything to it, you know, on my hair or anything. I just rebraided it over and that was it. So I was finishing this picture and was, you know, happy about that as well as feeling better. Okay, here I did the biggest thing right here. Thought I was doing something, y'all. I rolled up my mini braids. Um, so I think I had it in my mind. I had seen a video of someone having um, their mini braids curled up. And I said, you know what? This would be a perfect idea. That way I don't have to worry about trying to keep them straight or trying to, you know, all of that. I could just roll them up and, as they say, roll it up and forget it. But this is what I did. This I, I used foam roll. So, um, yeah, so this is how it looked in the back. So I was getting it, y'all. And this is how it looked on the side. I had rolled the side uh, of it toward my face, you know, so it could kind of like, you know, bring a little curls that way. So here is what it looks like after taking the rollers out. It looked like this. Now, this, I think, is like day two of the braids. I mean, after I took out the rollers. All right, and this is how they're looking. And it's just skippish, just like this. It's like where you see I roll them up at, you can actually tell where the rollers were. But I want those parts to be removed. Is there anything? Or is it something that I'm, is, what is I'm doing wrong? I know it's something I'm doing wrong. 
I don't, maybe it's the type of rollers that I'm using. Does anybody know? Anybody, anybody that knows, please let me know in the comment sections of, of the video. I would love to really know what it is I did. Now, the video, the picture that I seen, I didn't get a chance to see. I didn't see, you know, this person taking these rollers out of their hair to know what type of rollers that they used or even how they had them rolled up in their hair. You know, so the only thing I just saw was the curly braids, and I thought they were just so beautiful i even saw a video of a person yesterday where they just rolled the ends of their braids um up with uh with uh curl rods pink curl rods and it came out real real pretty but i wanted mine curled all the way down i didn't just want just the ends curl i wanted to have the curliness all over so even look at this part here you could tell that it's something is missing if something is missing, like, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? And then I took down each one. Like, I think it was five I rolled up in per roller, okay? Then I took down each one and separated it, but it still went back in that direction. So it's got to be something that I'm doing wrong. I just got to figure out what it is. This is the other side. This is just showing you exactly what it looked like. So what am I'm doing wrong. I really would like to know. So if anybody know or got any suggestions, even how to roll it if possible, uh, even whatever rollers to use, if someone has did this and have had great results, I'd like to know what it is that you've done so I can try it. I might even film it showing what I'm doing to get these results. Okay, so let's make this happen. I really would like to know what it is that I'm doing wrong so I can fix it. But yeah, that was really it, guys. This cold that I had, I mean, this cold, it was just something, you know, it was different. This cold was one of them kind of colds. You know how your mom would tell you, I'm going to whip you for the new and the old. Honey, this cold whooped me for the new and the old, the hot and the cold, everything, okay? <laughs> I mean, this cold was kind of like, oh, it could I think it could have got worse, but it didn't, and I'm really thankful that it didn't. I mean, it really had the potential to really go in on me, but uh, it didn't. And I'm really, really glad that it didn't. But, yeah, so, but it was just something about doing my braids that really brought a feel-good moment at the time of being in this. As I can say, you can look and see I wasn't feeling all that great in the eyes. You could really, really see that. This My eyes even look weak, okay? But I am much better now, y'all. You probably can still hear a little bit of the cold, you know, within my voice. But actually, physically, I'm fine. You know, I'm doing much better physically. I'm still kind of like a little congested. I'm not going to tell a fib there. I'm still kind of like a little congested. I'm still, you know, working on myself with the, with the lemon tea and the honey and the all the good stuff that it takes to get rid of a cold. As a matter of fact, I'm even doing my favorite home remedy that I love to do with colds, and it really has helped too. I do have a video showing what it is I do with that. It's an old video, but I'll find it and post it in the comment section of this video so if you guys are interested in watching it, okay? So that is it, guys. I just want to thank you all so very much for watching and being patient with me. I do apologize that I wasn't able to get up some type of video this week, but I say something. I came in with this because I said something is better than nothing. <laughs> so I thank y'all so very much. I didn't want to disappoint you all that bad. So guys, so until the next vid, I want to wish you all a blessed one. And uh, yeah, stay positive, stay up. You know, even when things is coming at us in all type of different directions and all type of evil ways, we have to shake that off. Because we are the better power. We have the power. We have to keep that in mind that we have the power to change a whole lot. Okay, so with that being said, if you like what you've seen in this video, please like the video, share it. Um, thumbs it up and share it. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead on and subscribe and click that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload videos. But until the next, guys, wish you all a blessed one. Bye. 
Oh, before I go, I just wanted to tell you guys that I did this here video with this, um, with this, um, this particular app right here. It's called the AZ Screen Recorder, and I have to say that I like it. I really do. <laughs> so have you guys tried this app? If you haven't, give it a try. You'll like it. Um, and if you have, let, let, let me know in the comment section what you think of it. All right, so until the next video, guys. Bye.